the resurrection provides hope for the believer. Listen to this in 1 Peter 3, 1 Peter 1, 3 to 5, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope. By what? The resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. One commentator said this, Peter used the word living six times. Here, in this passage, living means that the believer's hope is sure, it's certain, it's real, as opposed to the deceptive, empty, false hope that the world has to offer. The fact is, is Jesus' resurrection gives us a living hope. A hope that is so much different than what the world has to offer. The world has no hope. You understand that? The world has no hope. That is why why the world, in times of trouble, they turn to God. They turn to God in time of trouble because there's no hope out there. And, and, And this is why This is why they blame God for when there is trouble. Because their hope doesn't have an answer to this. Which is no hope. You see, friends, the the problem with the world's hope is it's full of empty promises. It's full of empty promises. He hath said in his heart, listen to this, he hath said in his heart, that I will not seek after God. He's not going to seek after God because he says, because he shall never be in adversity. The reason, the reason that the unbeliever, the reason that the world doesn't seek after God, who has said in his heart, I shall not be moved. This is it. This is the reason. He says, I shall not be moved because I shall never be in adversity. See, the world, the world's hope, the world's hope is like this. I don't need to change because I'm not going to be in any trouble. That's what he says. I don't need to change because I'm not going to be in any trouble. And the reality is, is they are in deep trouble and they have an empty hope. They have an empty hope. And the world loves the things of the world. But the Bible says in 1 John 2.15, love not the world. Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not him. Don't love the things of the world. Why? Because it's empty. It provides no hope. There's no hope in the things of the world. There's only hope in Christ. He even says in Romans 15, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. See, Paul knew that the only hope, the only hope was that we should be moved, that we do seek after God. See, the resurrection provides a living hope for us. We have a living hope, something that makes sense, something that has substance to it. Unfortunately, the world doesn't have that sort of hope. This is is exactly why they, they, they fill their lives with all sorts of worthlessness, don't they? All sorts of things that don't matter. Things to fill the empty hole. They're trying to put something there to fill the hole that that has no substance. And we have a living hope. It provides hope for the believer. 